Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another video. My name is Monica and I post videos on money, travel, and lifestyle. In today's video, we are going to be breaking down the $600 CARES Act straight from the source. So if you would like to know more about it and how you can get to these benefits a little faster and more efficiently, then keep on watching. It's been called the Coronavirus CARES Act and it introduces three main changes to how unemployment benefits work. A lot of people are trying to apply for this CARES Act income without first applying for unemployment. You cannot go past your state government straight to the IRS to apply for the $600. It must be applied for on a statewide basis first. They're adding $600 to the weekly benefit from an eligible laid off employee who would otherwise receive it. This has commonly been referred to as the Federal Pandemic Unemployment Compensation Provision. This will be available for all weeks of unemployment between April 5th and July 31st, 2020, and will be paid out for any week where the individual receives unemployment benefits. That means that if it's in fact being paid out for any week that you are receiving your unemployment benefits, it will be backdated. Number two is you'll get an additional 13 weeks of unemployment benefit. As part of the Pandemic Unemployment Emergency Compensation Provision, an additional 13 weeks of unemployment benefits are available extending what is typically capped at 26 weeks to 39 weeks so most states have unemployment anywhere between 26 to 39 weeks but now they're allowing you to have an additional 13 weeks these additional weeks will also include the additional $600 as outlined in the FPUC provision so long as they are before July 31st you're getting your unemployment you're getting your extra 600 from the government and then of course there's a stimulus as well there are in fact unemployment benefits for self-employed folks and contractors, which are usually the group of people that are not included in these unemployment benefits. It's important to note that self-employed individuals qualify for the $600 weekly unemployment benefit under the Pandemic Unemployment Emergency Compensation Provision. For claims filed in 2019, you must have been paid at least $2,400 in wages in one of the calendar quarters in your base period. This amount increases to $2,600 in 2020, and also in the last 12 months, you have to earn a total of one and a half times your quarter wages. So in New York, for example, self-employed applicants cannot apply for pandemic unemployment assistance until they have applied and been rejected for regular unemployment benefits. Even if you're eligible for a dollar of unemployment, the beauty is that you're still gonna get that 600 from the federal government. It's important to note that this extra $600 is going to end at the end of July, so it's definitely better to get on it now and do all that you can. And because we are in this current predicament, if a state enters a period of high unemployment, which is kind of the case here in New York, something can be triggered and it's known as extended benefits where self-employed people may receive up to seven additional weeks. Now, eligible workers may receive retroactive benefits for weeks of employment dating back to January 27th. That means that if you have been unemployed since January 27th and you finally get through to unemployment, you can get back pay for all of that time. If you've been planning to contribute to your IRA for the 2019 tax year, you now have three extra months to do so. You can get an extra $500 for each dependent who is under 17 years old. You can also dip into your retirement funds early without penalty. This includes 401ks and IRAs. This bill waives a 10% early withdrawal penalty for distributions up to $100,000 for coronavirus related purposes. If you return the same amount of money that you took from that 401k or IRA within three years, you will not have to pay those taxes. If you are a small business owner, you can apply for a $10,000 advance through the Economic Injury Disaster Loan Program. You can also apply for a loan through the Paycheck Protection Program, which is also great for small business owners. And lastly, if you own a small business, you might be able to defer paying the employer portion of payroll taxes without paying a penalty. So that is it. That is the end of my video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you want more more stimulus and money related things. I definitely enjoy making these videos and doing the research and I really want to be bringing you guys the most up-to-date and accurate information. Once again, definitely hit that big red subscribe button, like this video, and comment down below any questions you might have and any ideas for future videos. So I'll catch you guys in the next video and stay safe out there. Bye.